Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we're going fast. We're going to be shooting Hornady Superformance, their 95 grain SST load and 243 Winchester. And here's your box for that Hornady Superformance 95 grain SST 243 Winchester ammo. Hey, the box is really cool looking, if nothing else. Let's go ahead and flip it around to the back. Here is your Superformance promo info. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. So Superformance's claim to fame is 200 feet per second over standard velocity ammo. So we'll see how close we come to that. Flipping it right here, we have our velocity data. This states 3,185 feet per second at the muzzle. No doubt that's from a 24 inch, possibly even longer test barrel. We will be shooting these from a 20 inch barreled Winchester Model 70 compact, which I think is appropriate for the 243. There's a lot of youth and compact 243s out there. So I'm real curious to see what all this 243 ammo will do from a slightly shorter barrel that is actually actually in pretty widespread use. So let's go ahead and yank one out and take a look. There's your classic SST bullet, 95 grains. Let's go shoot it and see what it does. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. And my test rifle today is my Winchester Model 70 Featherweight Compact, chambered in 243 Winchester, of course. It's got a 20 inch barrel. Up top, I've got a Leopold FX2 six power scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. I've got 243 stamped right in it. Check out my website, masonleather.com. It will be linked in the description and the pinned comment. I would absolutely love to make you one. And coming over the other side, I've got my white tail deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that Hornady Superformance 95 grain SST load out of the 243. Minimum 3010, maximum 3013, average 3011 feet per second. That is screaming. And look at that spread only 2.4 feet per second difference between the minimum and maximum. I think that's the tightest I've ever seen. Besides, one time I had all three shots register the same exact velocity. That may have been a fluke. Regardless, that is a tight spread. And we are down at the blocks after shooting that Hornady Superformance 95 grain SST load for the 243. And these things did what SSTs do. We've got the wound cavities up front. We've, we've got decent penetration. And it looks like the bullets did hold together for the most part. This second block is a little darker color. I've used it a few times, does not affect its performance. It is what it is. If you wanna buy me some gel blocks, let me know. But anyways, we've got one right there, one right there, and then one right there. They are tough to see here, but we will dig these out of course here in a second and take a look. Penetration wise, we've got one right here at about 18 inches. Another one right there at about 18 and a half inches. And then one right here, again, it's a little tough to see, at about 19 inches of penetration. So very consistent penetration. Coming on back to the first block, we've got that SST nasty wound cavity up front. Opens up at about the one inch mark. It starts to open up right there. Big nasty wound track going back to all the way back, really to about the 10 inch mark. Then it tapers off. And these things did slap the blocks around pretty good. I mean, it's an SST. This is what they do. Let's dig them out and take a look. All right, y'all, we've got the bullets dug out of the blocks. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. Those Hornady Superformance 95 grain SSTs out of the 243 weight retention. We saw 48 grains, 52 grains, and 58 grains for an average of 53 grains retained weight. That's 55% weight retention, and that's about what I would expect from an SST bullet. They're not bonded. They're not meant to hold together. They're super shock tip. And so these, these performed about like I would expect them to. Expansion, we saw 0 0.39, 0 0.52, and 0.55 inches for an average of 0.49 inches expanded diameter. And that works out to 2x expansion. Now keep in mind, 
45% of the weight of the mass of these bullets, you know, broke up and is in, you know, the initial part of the gel, the initial part of the target, which is what these are designed to do. So I don't expect these things to have a massive, you know, retained expanded diameter. A good bit of each one of the bullets is just gone, which is what they're designed to do. So I'm very pleased with that as well. Velocity wise, we saw a high of 3,013, a low of 3,011, extremely consistent for an average of 3,012 feet per second. That's, that's ridiculously consistent in the velocity versus the factory build velocity of 3,185 feet per second. So we did come in 173 feet per second slower than box spec. Yeah, we're using a 20 inch barrel, that's what I have. I also think it's appropriate. A lot of youth 243 rifles out there in the deer woods. So again, it's appropriate. If you've got a longer barrel, of course you're gonna see higher velocity. I don't expect to hit the factory spec out of a 20 inch barrel. And this stuff came in about where I'm seeing a lot of your factory ammo out of a 20 inch barrel in 243, 173 feet per second slow. That's right there in the ballpark of a lot of other stuff. So I'm not disappointed in that. And our estimated impact velocity down there at 100 yards is about 2,711 feet per second. Penetration wise, this stuff did better than I actually expected. 18 inches, 18 and a half inches, and 19 inches. Again, very consistent. This stuff was really consistent across the board. For an average of 18 and a half inches of penetration, that's approaching that 20 inch benchmark that I like to see. This is definitely going to get it done for you on your smaller white tailed deer. Make a good broadside shot. You'll definitely be okay, I think. And then, of course, it's going to deliver that shock up front. This stuff penetrated better than a lot of other options out there. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts. If you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all, so it's time for my final thoughts on that Hornady Superformance 95 grain SST load out of the 243. I think it did excellent across the board for what it is. I think it did exactly what it was supposed to. It shed a good chunk of its weight, but retained a majority of it. It's an SST super shock tip, shock tip hit and fast. That's what I would expect. 2x retained expansion pretty darn good considering a lot of each one of the bullets mass broke up in the block and wasn't retained velocity even here i was pleasantly surprised even though we're shooting it out of a 20 inch barrel we're still getting over 3,000 feet per second you can't really ask for more than that out of a 95 grain 243 i think it's pretty darn good and penetration wise, this stuff is doing better than a lot of your comparable hunting loads out of the 243. It's approaching that 20 inch benchmark I like to see. Excellent performance across the board from this Superformance ammo. If this stuff shot well out of my particular rifle, I really wouldn't hesitate to use it. I think it might be a great option. If you've used this ammo on game, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.